Hey guys, welcome back to Help Tech. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you folks on how to get the Fusion Emulation Tool for playing Sega console games. Now, we're going to be focused on the Mega Drive slash the Genesis because that's just the system that everybody seems to go after for playing these classic games. We'll probably bring out a second video to this for other systems that the software supports, but that's what we're going to be focused upon in this episode. Now, you'll find a link down in the description box below to head over to this website here. You'll have Windows, Mac OS, Linux, pick which one ever applies to. We're on Windows 10, so we're going to go with this version, and I believe that this is a 32-bit build of the game. So this should support pretty much every version of Windows that's out there. As far as I know, it supports XP, it supports like Windows 2000, actually here it is, Windows 95, 98, me, so this has a great support to pretty much every system out there that's on the market right now. So with that said, what you have to do to get the software, hit this right here, and you'll basically start to download. While it's downloading, go get WinWar if you haven't already. And if you're looking for some games, you'll possibly find some links down there to other videos that I'm doing right at the current moment of showing you how to get Sega Master slash Genesis games for free. Um, so with that said, you're going to open this. And you're going to open this. And these are basically all of the files you need to run the software. I don't recommend running this in WinWar because it's not the best. Uh, best thing that you want to do is to go into C drive, go into 32-bit, and make a new folder. Now, I've already done that, and I've named it Fusion, so this is what I have here. Take these files, and I'll just do it for you just to show you that they are the same, and you'll basically copy them all into here. Shouldn't take very long because this isn't that big of a download. And the next thing I recommend is to pull one to your desktop, say create shortcut here. I've already done one already, but create a shortcut so you're not having to dig through your C drive to go to it every single time. And like that, guys, you got the software. Now I'm going to show you how to configure the software to take on a controller. To do that, head into controllers. And most of you guys will start out on keyboard, but if you have like a an Xbox controller plugged in or something down that line that can communicate to the software. Just go to it, say refine. So for up, I'm going to pull up on the control stick, down, left, right. For my A button on the Genesis, it's actually going to be X on my Xbox controller. B is going to be A, C is going to be B. Start button's going to be the start button, obviously, for X. I'm going to pick Y for the Y button. I'm probably going to go L for Z. I'm going to go right. And for mode, I'm going to go select. And that's pretty much it. What you have to do to set up your controller. The reason I set it up that way is I figured X, A, and B in that format pretty much mirrors what the three button setup was on a Genesis controller and then I just picked the other buttons because it just kind of made sense to an SNES controller I guess but um, you really couldn't get the the mapping correct unless you go actually buy a USB controller to like a Genesis 6 button or something down that line and I believe that those will support the software but I'll have to buy one to uh, make sure of that with that said guys that's how you get this emulation software for free the only thing you guys have to do is basically go like this to open up an emulation ROM. Just say load Genesis game. And then you're going to want to go into wherever you've, you know, saved the games. I think I have one in here, Bloodlines. One thing that I also recommend to do with this software, guys, is to go to video settings. And you'll see basically uh, window size. We're going to actually up that 1080p you can also do full screen if you choose to do so but the one thing that I think that most guys need to pay attention to is to go to basically renderer and get it all the way up to what your screen can support 
Uh, some games do not like to go higher than 1080p, I've noticed. But um, this is something I highly recommend to keep good quality on the games that you're playing because this can actually upscale the games. So doing that will upscale them to what I've picked here. Again, don't go higher if your monitor doesn't support it or the game. There is probably Wiccas out there for this, like Dolphin has, so please go to them if you're having any issues with your renderer not working correctly. So with that said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for today. I will be bringing out Bloodlines very soon to this YouTube channel because of the fact that it's never made a proper release on any other systems other than the Genesis and the Mega Drive, so it's never seen the day of light on a different system. So I will be showing you folks on how to get that game for free probably next week to celebrate with Halloween being here. If you guys want to have easier access to everything I do on this channel, including the Bloodlines video, hit the subscribe. Let me know if you had any issues whatsoever with this video today. Did it work? Did it not work? And let me know if um, you want to see more content like this coming to our channel. There will be many more videos, like I said, coming on games for this emulation, so sit tight, and those will be coming very soon.